residential. 45 minutes in certain industries. Yeah, no, no. Certain industries to China. If we had U.S. manufacturers doing what they're also doing in China, they'd like have a gold mine here waiting. Like I can't fill with the bank. All right, I, I kick my presentation off every year. It's like the 11th year, but uh, I. Robbie Robinson, Robinson Real Estate, residential real estate all around Atlanta. And uh, every year I, I mention that I run my, my life, God, family, and work. So when I get, to, when those priorities get out of whack, uh, all those three go out of whack for me. But I, I mention it each year that there's some great religious resources in this group. And uh, use them not only for business, but well, spend some time talking with, uh, if you want to go deeper with things, there's some great resources in the group. So you know, please think about that. I care about each of you and uh, business and life. Um, so family, that's uh, my daughter on the far end with our dog Cole. They had a great time in the snow. Um, it lasted for about four hours, so that was cool. <laughs> She's 16, and uh, my wife's in the middle. Uh, I, I uh, definitely uh, traded up. When, uh, when I'm married. Um, so this is, uh, this is my daughter over here. She plays just about every sport imaginable. And we're, we're all over the place with soccer. They did, uh, the Falcons funded flag football for girls this year. And it was really cool. And uh, she made the front page of the Business Chronicle. And, you know, we sent it and got Arthur Blank to sign it. So, good, pretty good time. <laughs> Uh, so, I sell houses, I help people buy houses. It's that simple. Um, so, anyone that's buying or selling a house, I'm interested in talking to them. I'm all referral, so it's, it's not a billboard, it's not, it's you that meet the people, think about them, and send them my way. And, you know, you guys do a wonderful job of that every year. So, uh, quick on my experience. On a normal year, I'll sell between seven and nine million. I try to keep it there because once it gets to ten million, my wife starts looking at me and going, "You're not around. Where are you?" And so that work-life balance is very important. Um, and then some years, you know, the, they just don't work out. The market may shift a little bit, and maybe five million, but that's okay. We just try to build up for the next year. <clears throat> Fourteen years here selling real estate. Uh, you know, I've had my license for 24 years now. Uh, we have an office in Mississippi. We're probably going to, we have a little one in, in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm not sure what will happen with that one over the next year, but we don't do much out of that one. Um, I'm 99% here and on the phone a lot with Mississippi. Uh, you know, when I got out of college, I, I had big to, been to many big cities. So when Accenture or then Anderson Consulting then offered me a job to come here, you know, I was a little hesitant, but it was, it was nine years of invaluable experience, traveling around the U.S., a little bit of the world, um, helping the Fortune 500 companies with business strategy. And, you know, when I decided to stop that in 2006 because I was traveling five days a week and my daughter was hanging on my calf, uh, and, you know, walking out sun every Sunday, um, you know, I had my broker's license, and you know, it's been a very blessed 14 years. So I mentioned I'm all referral, and you know, the questions that a lot of people ask me is, where do you want referrals from? What locations do you do, and what price range? So the fact that I'm all referral, I may help somebody's parents with a eight or nine hundred thousand dollar home, but then they may say, can you help my son or daughter? And they want two, two fifty townhome condo, uh, and so it's not a price range; it's just a need thing. Okay, that's why I say almost anybody that's buying or selling. Um, where do I like to work? I love to work uh, as close to here, uh, in, in you know North Fulton and Forsyth, uh, edges of Cherokee. That's always wonderful. But you know, each year because I've helped people all over. They send referrals and they are all over. So, you know, I spend a lot of time all the Forsyth, most of Fulton, all the way to downtown, um, Cherokee and Hall. And then, you know, it's easy for me to go to Cobb. Uh, West Cobb's a little far, but East Cobb's good. Uh, Gwinnett's always good. And then for some reason, I go out to Winder and Auburn and 
uh, out there a good bit in Barrow County. So um, I love lake homes. They're, they're, they're great. I'll get uh, one or two a year, and uh, Lake Lanier is gorgeous. And you got to have some specific skill sets to understand how the Corps of Engineers works, um, you know, deep water versus uh, a house that you have to drive all the way around the lake to get to. There's just a lot of specific things about lake homes. And then horse farms. I mean, I drive all over North Georgia from, you know, the line of Alabama to South Carolina to Tennessee. You know, they're, they're all over up there. So you have to be willing to go because people don't care so much about the location if the horse farm's perfect. If you know horse people, they care more about their horses and their spouses. So, <laughs> um, I, I stopped uh, going below downtown a while back. I have really good uh, uh, contacts in Peachtree City and Noonan and uh, you know, all around McDonough and places like that to refer people. But you know, I just, that's just a little far these days. All right, so I passed around something. So all of you know that you know I help people buy and sell houses, but um, I've been helping businesses for a number of years, okay? And it's usually the owner or the HR manager, but there's a, probably seven to ten businesses that they just give my card out every time there's a need. Uh, they tell that employee, call Robbie. So, you know, I was thinking about it early, uh, earlier, um, I would say mid last year. And I said, you know, why not, uh, why not formalize that? But also, you know, most of you are business to business. Okay? And I was thinking, how can I get in front of more businesses and talk to them about what they're doing and be more involved? Because the more I'm involved with other businesses, the more referrals I'll be able to send out um, and be more connected. So, you know, why would small businesses want residential relocation? And it's because they don't help about 99% of the time, small and medium businesses, they don't give their employees when they hire them, fire them, or transfer them, they don't help them with their real estate at all. They're just like, yeah, you're going, or welcome aboard. <laughs> so, you know, most of us have been there. Uh, so, for free, and for an easy employee benefit, why wouldn't they hire my firm to be an in-house relocation and to be able to go, okay, for this office location, uh, you're moving here or you're moving from another uh, office, have a free tour of the area. Get, get to know it. Um, talk to them about real estate. Use them as a resource. Um, there's no... You know, you don't have to use them, but this is this is what we're doing. And so, here's here's a kicker: is is that, and I t told all seven to ten of these businesses that I work with, you can't uh, anymore. You cannot tell somebody as a business owner or person of power, use this agent, okay? Because what's happened, and it's very rare, but a business owner said, use this agent. They went out, that agent said, use this inspector, and they missed a big foundation problem, okay? And so what ended up is that that person sued the agent, the inspector, and the business owner. And the business owner was like, what? What? And, they said that, and, and unfortunately, the court said, you were in a position of power, you handed the card, and you said use it. So what we do is, is we go through a process uh, that the the buyer um, the, the buyer um, signs off on, and it's a needs analysis. Okay, what do you need? How do you need it? Where are you looking for? What schools are important? What things are important to you? And then they sign off that they know that my company went through that with them and is going to find them the best agent. And, and just one example. So a few weeks ago, one of these companies sends me somebody, and they have a special needs kid. Okay. Well, I happen to know an agent that is looking at that their kid with special needs and went to that exact elementary and middle school, uh, and, and they know everything about it. So it was an awesome referral mm -hmm. and a great resource for that buyer to know that they had someone to talk about every step and everything because they were really buying to get into that district because um, 
they knew that that district was welcoming the special needs kids. Okay? All right, so who am I looking for? Um, obviously, you're normal. Anybody buying or selling? And here's the question, okay? And, you know, when you're in your conversations or this or that, and I know you can't just out of the blue say it, but if you can find a way to work it in, you know, when's the last time you had an agent buy your house? Or come and look and see and tell you what upgrades they need, okay? Not Zillow, not that they got their tax valuation in the mail, but when's the last time you, you actually, you know, ask an agent what your house is worth? Okay, and that usually sparks a decent conversation. Um, and then for this small business relocation, I mean, look, it, a lot of you search for business owners, okay, and a lot of you search for HR managers. Um, the only, only slice I would change that with is just I'm looking for people that are making the hiring decisions. Okay, and so here, here's something important. Um, I am not looking for uh, the big, huge businesses, okay? That have, you know, huge HR staffs and that already have some form of, you know, monster relocation company, okay? They, they already do somewhat things for their uh, employees. I'm looking for the companies that they just don't do anything. They're kind of like, yeah. And so, the, just so you know, the, the biggest questions I get, they kind of look and they're busy right now. They're so busy, and they go, why do I need that? And, and, you know, so I'm not thinking that I'm going to sign up 100 companies, okay? I'm looking for the ones that really look and go, you know what? I want to take care of my employees as much as possible, and this is something that I can put another little feather in my cap and know that we have a good resource and say that we, we do this and hopefully it helps everybody out because an employee in transition is not the greatest employee. All right, any questions?